projects on the ground here, and it's going very well. We're making great progress. Um, we do believe we'll be uh, able to get two-way traffic one way each direction here in the coming days uh, and weeks ahead. And we're working on that not only here, but also on I-26 uh, also as well. And so um, just very fortunate to have the, the collaboration that we do have um, and as well as with North Carolina and all that's doing very well. So. Mr. Secretary. Right here, and then we'll go to you. Mr. Secretary, uh, this is the most visited national park in the entire country, the most rapid river in the entire country, and a huge economic corridor here for getting people around for not only tourism, but the goods that go through here. Talk about some of the economic implications to get people moving in. Well, you know, we, we've met so many people in the affected communities whose livelihoods depend on these roads and, and roadways being available uh, on the tourism that comes here. As a visitor, one of the things that uh, I'm trying to reconcile in my head is the shocking devastation alongside the incredible natural beauty of, uh, of this region. Uh, we're trying to make sure that uh, there is support for those communities and businesses that are up and running and open for business, that people know uh, that, uh, that they are uh, more than happy to receive folks. And then for the other areas uh, where the businesses are not yet open or the roads are not yet secure, of course, our job is to do everything we can to accelerate that process uh, because we know that uh, so many families depend on that, that economy that revolves around the natural beauty and the visitors that it draws. Go ahead. Mr. Secretary, can you elaborate more on what the communication, the process will be like as redevelopment happens? Obviously, more money is going to come in, but can you get, give me some more details about how that communication will work? Yeah, so we have our Federal Highway Administration personnel uh, already on the ground. We've got folks who work in the state with their counterparts at the state DOT. They're working side by side to make sure that as those funds flow from headquarters, from Washington, that they can quickly be put to work on contracts that start with things like stabilizing these slopes but then lead to uh, the, the longer-term restoration. And along uh, this route, especially when you look at the number of bridges that have been impacted and even destroyed, uh, some of them will be restored just the way they were. Some of them might need to be restored in a way that looks a little different than how it did in the past. Those are exactly the processes that our teams are working to support. We're also going to need help from Congress, and my hope and expectation is that Congress will act in a bipartisan fashion to provide more of the funding that's needed. Uh, as I said, uh, we've put forward $32 million to Tennessee and $100 million to North Carolina just so far. Uh, but we know that the ultimate price tag, just on the transportation side alone, will be in the billions. And we cannot get that done without help from Congress. So we'll be looking to make sure that that happens as soon as possible. Back there. Yeah, Secretary, when the damage is on this magnitude, just here on the Tennessee side, we have two major interstates that are closed in parts. How, how does your agency prioritize where money and resources is Go. Well, of course, getting these interstates restored is crucial. Uh, it's important for the economic lifeblood of the region. It's important for the other re recovery and restoration activities. Hard to get to those smaller communities uh, while these arteries are unavailable. Uh, but in addition to these two major interstates, there are hundreds and hundreds of roads and bridges, uh, both on and off the national highway system. And so uh, we take a cue from uh, the state. We're not imposing the priorities on them. Uh, they're assessing based on uh, things like uh, whether there's redundancy or whether the route that's been compromised is the only one, what alternatives exist, uh, how many people are depending on those routes. Uh, they'll work through those priorities and will work to make sure they have the funding to meet all those priorities. Thank you, Secretary. Okay, folks, I'm sorry. That's all we have time for. Secretary, if you'll head right. over. Thanks, everybody. I'm so sorry. I know everyone has more questions. We just are on a very tight schedule. If everyone can do me a favor and scoot yeah, to the side here, we're going to have to have his motorcade.